using this journey as an opportunity to visit some of the Lord's wonderful shrines. Sundar and Nadir made an effort to visit several holy temples on a pilgrimage-like journey where the terrain overcome made for an arduous trip, but one filled with adventure and many encounters with the many forms of the divine in the form of like-minded sages and yogis alike. This way, he visited the great temples of Paswadi Nadir in Nepal in present-day Kathmandu, Kasi Vishwanadir in Varanasi, Tiruperupadam, Tirukalahasti, Tiruvalangad, Kanjipuram, and Tiruvadhi. He then went to Tille, Chidambar, and rejoiced in witnessing the cosmic dance of the Lord. He spent some time here, enjoying the company of other great sages. After this, he bathed in the Kaveri River, went to its southern banks, and journeyed towards Tiruvavaradurai. Due to his love for the Lord's form here, he spent some time here before continuing his journey along the Kaveri River. As he continued his journey along this sacred river, he heard the distressing sounds of cows crying in grief. As an all-loving devotee of the Lord, Sundaranadar had an immediate thought to remove the sorrow of these cows and journeyed towards the source of this sound. He came to a place filled with the Lord's devotees called Satanur, and upon reaching the crying herd of cows, he saw the reason why. The cows were grieving and nestling around a lifeless body. This body belonged to their loving and dear cowherd who usually looked after them on a daily basis during the daytime. With his mind being at one with nature and with his extraordinary powers, Sundaranadar was able to realise after analysing the situation that the fate of this particular cowherd, whose name was Mulan, meant his life was to end that day and so it did. Unable to bear the pain and suffering of all these loving creatures, the Siva Yogi decided to bring this deceased cowherd's body back to life again, just for the sake of these innocent cows. And so, using the siddhis he possessed, performed the wondrous act of what is known as Parahaya Piravesam or Kuduvittakudu Paidal in Tamil, which is the transmigration of the soul, and hid his current body safely before moving his soul into the cowherd's material body, and thus brought back life into this body. It was from this moment from which the world would refer to this legendary Siva Yogi. He was in the form of Mulan, the cowherd from Sartanur, as Tiri Mulan, with the Tiri placed there to give great respect to this wonderful soul. The surrounding cows realised their dear caretaker had come back to life. They danced around him in euphoria, licking him with love and slipping him with delight, and all their sorrows disappeared. The Siva Yogi, he was in the body of Mulan, the cowherd, accepted these kind creatures' love with great joy and was delighted that he could play a small part in making them happy again, for he acknowledged it all as the Lord's grace. Realising the cows were hungry, he took them to lush green fields where they were able to graze to their heart's content and then travelled with them to the banks of the Kaveri so they were all able to keep hydrated. After this, the cows were led to a shady area where they had a good rest. Soon, the sun began to set, and realising it was time to head back home, the intelligent and loving cows started journeying back to their homes to look after their calves. The Siva Yogi followed these loving creatures, and after ensuring all of the cows returned home safely, he stayed near the boundaries of the town and began to meditate. Realising the time was fast approaching night time and that her husband had not returned home yet, the deceased Mulan's dear wife, who had no idea of her real husband's fate, eagerly awaited for his arrival and sensing that it was becoming unusually late, went out to search and find him. As she approached the edge of the town, she saw her husband and relief swept over her. However, she was yet to find out that in her deceased husband's body was the Siva Yogi Tirumur. She also saw that he was sitting in a posture not usually attributed to her husband Mulan. Mulan's wife tried to approach Tirumulan and invite him back home, 
but the spiritually awoken Siva Yogi, sensing her movement, stopped her in her tracks and kindly requested her to not approach him as he was not her husband and requested her to shift her focus to the Lord. He then went to a nearby resting place for pilgrims to meditate. The shocked and saddened wife of Mulan was unsure of what action to take next and so returned to her house. She tried to sleep through the night but such was the turmoil her mind was in that she was unable to sleep at all. The next morning, the restless wife of Mulan went to the village elders to seek their advice on the situation in order to ensure her next decision would be the most appropriate one. After hearing her side of the story, the elders went over to the place where the Siva Yogi who was in Mulan's body was meditating and carefully inspected him and after thorough examination, they realised the truth. They told Mulan's wife that the soul who was in her husband's body was spiritually advanced and that their mental state was on an elevated plane, as he was directly seeking liberation from this world to reunite with the all-loving Lord. Thus, they asked the saddened wife of the village cowherd Mulan to leave this man alone. The lady was experiencing great anguish and seeing her pain, the elders consoled her the best they could and took her back to her home. Soon, Sundaranadar the Siva Yogi travelled to the location where he had hid his previous material body. To his astonishment, his previous body was nowhere to be found. Such was Tirumula's elevated plane of consciousness that he was able to understand that it was all by the grace of the Lord. He realised that the all-loving Lord wanted him to stay in this location, in this new physical body and use all that he had learnt from the Vedas and Agamas to create a book in the Tamil language which would benefit mankind. 